omelettes. That's what we're making today. So classic breakfast recipe, the omelette, but we've got a little twist to it. So we're doing a, an Asian style omelette. It's got prawns in there. We've got a nice oyster sauce, which we're going to finish the dish with. Sesame seeds, coriander, chili. It's going to be fantastic. A great twist on breakfast or a brunch for the weekend. Really good. So come back a bit later and I'll show you the key to make a perfect omelette and we're going to roll it in the pan as well. If you're with us in the cafe kitchen and Mark, we are making a Chinese prawn omelette, which is what I need every time I watch the America's Cafe, what about that? Anyway, uh, what do we have to do? <laughs> right, so we're going to uh, make the flavouring for inside the omelette. Yeah. So we're going to break the recipe down into three parts. Cool. We've got inside flavouring, the actual omelette, mm -hmm. and we've got a sauce as well. So. Okay, nice. so what, what's the actual Chinese part of it though? You say it's a Chinese omelette. Uh, the soy sauce. The soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we've got Asian flavours. We've got coriander, right. chilli, spring onion, oyster sauce as okay, well. Okay, cool. Um, and sesame seeds. And but, you, I mean, you, could, you could do this and put anything you want. Oh, yeah, well, there you go. Nice. This is going to be right. great, though. Right, right. let's get so, cracking. Uh, right, so the inside of the omelette. So we've got the prawns. So yes. just prawn meat, so there's no shell on there. Good. Uh, all ready to go. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to stir fry that with a little bit of onion and some chilli. Onion okay? and chilli. So chili. we've got the wok on. Yes, it's going. Yep. Okay, so cool. we'll just do some nice slices of chilli and then so we'll get it really hot and then we'll just sauté it really, really fast, okay? And, and you said before something about rolling the omelette? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going to show us how to do that? Yeah. Ooh, okay. So an omelette, so we, we do the omelettes in the restaurant and we have a competition every time we do it. And uh, so uh, like a perfect omelette should have no colour on it and be perfectly round and shiny Ooh, and great. The pressure is so, on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you make all your kitchen <laughs> workers do, is it? And your other yep. chefs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, yep. fun. Yep, so uh, so Drew the sous chef, he does, uh, or the head chef, sorry. Is he, he good? Does, uh, yeah, yeah, no, he does a good omelette. Do they have to make you omelettes sometimes? Uh, no. Or does he no, we don't get to eat the right, omelets. Right. Just for the customers. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, damn. Okay, right. Right. It's so, hot. Yeah, so a little bit of oil in there. Get it nice and hot. And then we're just going to sauté um, prawns. Yep. Prawns go in there. We'll put the onions in as well. Mm -hmm. So just break them up. So a little bit of texture and some chilli. Okay. Okay, a little bit of pepper. So really hot. Get it nice and... Um, you know, keep shaking it around, get them coloured. Yep. Don't want to overcook the prawns, otherwise they're going to go rubbery. Okay. Okay, so they want to be just cooked and they won't take long to go. Uh, and the onions will just soften down, but we'll still have a nice little bit of texture in there. It's all about just, um, you know, cooking it really fast and, and making it really fresh. Right, I've got a little pan on the side and we're mm -hmm. going to start like a really, really simple sauce. So, a little bit of chicken stock. Chicken stock. Yep. In there, some oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. <laughs> it's like being in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> it's like being in a cave. <laughs> okay, oyster sauce. <laughs> right, and then he's going to whisk those together. Mm -hmm. Right, and then we're just going to sort of bring it to heat. And then I've got a little bit of corn flour in here. Yeah. I'm going to add some water and just mix that into like a little slurry. And then when that comes to the boil, we'll pour it, pour it in and just thicken it slightly. Okay, so you're going to do that slowly, so you need yeah, the so right we'll consistency. Do, yeah, so we'll yeah. do that in the next part. We'll just bring it, bring it together. Um, you can put a little bit more um, oyster well, sauce in there. A little bit more there. oyster sauce, okay. So that's the recipe, there's a spoon to scrape it right, out. Cool, thank you, sir. Okay, you have a look at your prawns, keep stir frying them. I thought the chilli was making the prawns go that colour, but it's actually the prawns cooking. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good tip for you. No, so, you know, look, I'm tired, I was up watching America's <laughs> Cup all weekend, and you know, get excited so, and I don't go back to sleep. So if you ask me, like, how, does, how do you know when a prawn's cooked, or a yes. crayfish, yes. it's because it starts changing colour. Ah, OK, right. It goes pink. So it's not being dyed by the chillies. No. <laughs> no. no, it'd still go red if we didn't put any chillies in there. OK, yet. cool. So we're bringing this to, to the boil? Yeah, it's going to bring it okay. to the boil. So you don't want to reduce this because it's got oyster sauce and it's quite salty. Yeah. Just going to put a tiny splash of soy sauce in there. Oh, it's smelling Give good. it a toss and then take that out. That's okay, all cool. the cooking you need to do on that. Brilliant. We're going to slowly sort of warm this pan for the omelette and we're going to make that in just a second. And what, where's your slurry thing coming in? Uh, this little mixture. Where do yeah. we to add this? Well, I'm just going to get some water. Yeah, get some water and then we add this to this. Yeah. It's just starting yep. to boil now. Yeah, so we'll show that in the uh, second part. OK, cool, we'll do and that. we're going to make our omelette. Nice work. I'm excited. Can't wait to see how it turns out. We'll OK, so this here, I think, is ready. I just need to add a little bit of this. Yeah, so put a splash of that in and then just uh, whisk it over the heat. So okay. as, a, as the flour cooks out, it's going to start thickening. So, so we don't want a nice, too... Ooh, you know, a nice sort of uh, pouring consistency, so it's going to stick to the outside of the omelette. OK, but not, cool. You don't want it gloopy. You don't want gloopy? Yeah, so don't put too much on. OK, so just a little bit at a time. OK, yeah. I think it could probably do it a little bit more. Yeah. Right, so I've got you some look, eggs. Well, don't look so worried. <laughs> what? 
No one trusts me in the kitchen anymore. <laughs> it's been like two years. <laughs> no, so that's good. So always give it a little taste after you cook flour out, like corn flour or flour in any dishes, just mm -hmm. so it doesn't taste the flour. If it tastes the flour, keep cooking it out until it doesn't. Okay. Right, I've got some eggs in here. I've got a little splash of soy sauce in as well, so we can put that in instead of the uh, salt, just to give it a bit of seasoning. No, that's good. Are we good? Are we good? Yeah. I just want to get the right consistency. But I think this is looking good. Okay, see how it's moving away from the centre there? It's about right, you reckon? Yes. Cool. <laughs> Don't cook it any more, otherwise it will be gloopy. Okay, cool. No, that's good. That's, that's perfect. Good. And it tastes that's good. good. Right, so probably the most important ingredient in an omelette is butter. Right. There you go. I thought I was going to say an egg. <laughs> <laughs> but no butter. Well, I mean, an egg's quite important, but um, yeah, but butter okay. way more important. Right, so you just want to control your heat in your pan. So yep. it's got some butter. It's just melting down there now. Okay. And then, all right, I'm going to put the egg in. Okay. So we pop it in. So we're talking about the egg. We don't want any colour on it. Mm -hmm. How are we going to do that? How are we going to get it cooked on the bottom and the top evenly without having any colour on it? Oh, that's a very good question. So we're going to start... You can, see the the, yeah, you, yes. so you can see the eggs starting to cook there. Yep. And then we're, so you're almost getting the top into the pan, so the top part sort of set in, you know, so you can sort of see the eggs sort of right. starting to cook. You know, if it's getting a little bit hot, you can sort of pull it off. And then you want to get it pretty much maybe three quarters of the way cooked. Yes. So just make sure that goes down there. And then we're going to put it back on the heat, and then you want to set that base a little bit. Okay. I drew, I drew from your restaurant, I hope he's watching you do this. <laughs> no, I taught him everything he knows. Oh, right, that's, okay, that's why he's right, good. Okay, <laughs> um, okay no, this is looking good. Do you need this one or any more? Should I turn yeah, it yeah, off? Yeah, so, uh, uh, so we oh, use cool. the same pan as well. So just a few sesame seeds. Yep. So I just pop them in, dry okay, pan, cool. and then just got to keep stirring yep. and keep toasting them. Okay, so the omelette fold is the more, most important part of this. Yeah, yeah. so I mean, right. you're only going to be able to fold an omelette if it's set on the, ba on the base. Right. Okay. So you don't want to see the pan through the egg, do no, you? No, and we've got it nice and even. It's and good. you can see there's, there's still a little bit of raw egg in there. Yeah. Like, just minimal sort of bit there. I mean, we do a white bait omelette in the restaurant. We put white bait on it and cheese and then gratinate it. So that'll just finish that off. But because we've got the hot prawns, I'm going to pop them in. Oh. It's quite a lot in there. I'm going to take it off the heat now because we're sort of we are cooking. Yeah. A uh, little bit of green of the spring onion. I'm going to sprinkle that on. And a little bit of coriander inside. Okay. Yum. I probably actually put way too much filling in this to roll it up, <laughs> but we'll give it a go oh, anyway. Well, that's what do I get to eat one then? Oh, mm. Mm. And then a uh, little bit of a uh, sprinkle of sesame seeds in there as well. Mm -hmm. Over the top. Lovely. And then you can see, I mean, obviously, you've got to do this in a non stick frying pan. Yes. Oh, God. See, that's too much talking, you see. Oh, too much. And then. Money. You can just roll it over and it's way too much filling. Way too much filling. Well, that's but, all right. But you can see it and you sort of just fold it over. Oh, look at that. So oh, that I looks even, all right. I might even just do a half moon. <laughs> but there you go. That nice. is a well-stuffed omelette. Isn't it? And then you get a plate and you can just tip it out into your plate, shape it up, and then we'll just garnish it with the sauce after. Okay, well, that makes sense. I'm that. pleased you showed me that because I wouldn't know how to do it. I'd be making a mess even if it was that full. You managed to do a very <laughs> good job. <laughs> How's it looking, Mark? Uh, it's looking great, actually. <laughs> uh, we're just putting the sauce over the top and then a little bit more garnish. Just sprinkle that over. Some spring onions, a little bit of chilli, fresh coriander. Coriander! And Yay. some sesame seeds. Look at nice. that. Jam packed. Brilliant. Beautiful breakfast or brunch oh, omelette. Yum. Yum, 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 yum.